So if you do it in this certain way, you can actually use masturbation as a way to boost your hormones, boost your sexual magnetism and your overall energy levels. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can magnetize your ideal life. If you're interested in learning more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos. Make sure you get my free ejaculation control course. There's a link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can actually use masturbation to boost your energy and your hormone levels. So a lot of guys get into semen retention and no fap and they start to really suppress their sexuality and they start to develop this body shame, you know, this shame around having any sort of sexual experience experiences and any sort of sexual cultivation basically, right? Now I think it's a great sign that things like NoFap are becoming more popular because it means that men are starting to understand the power of their semen, the power of their sexual energy, and that it's depleting them to just be recklessly spending it, right? But the issue is that men often go about it in the wrong way and they start to suppress their sexuality. And then all this pressure builds up in the genitals very unconsciously, right? Then it starts to drive them to do very strange things. They become very angry, very irritable, and it's just not a pleasant way to be going about it, basically. You know, I hear for all the time from students who go through my six-week course, they say they started with no fap, you know, saw the benefits in the beginning, but then just kind of hit a brick wall. You know, they were feeling frustrated, feeling stuck, and this is very, very common because when you simply suppress your sexuality, you start to get very stagnant. The sexual waters are not moving in your body. They're not flowing through your life anymore. They're just stuck and stagnant. And you start to experience discomfort in your body, discomfort in your emotions, or maybe, you know, stagnance in your external world as well. And this is a bit of a contrast to how I personally got into semen retention. I was studying yoga, I was studying Qigong, meditation, I was studying ancient Eastern philosophy, spirituality, and for me, it was like, okay, I'm learning how to get into these high spiritual states, move energy through my body, but where does sexuality fit into all this? At the time, I was still like addicted to porn, you know, masturbating to Pornhub every day, and it was like, there's got to be a connection here. I'd heard about Tantra, you know, and this idea of using sex as a way to boost your spiritual path and integrate that, right? And so that was very fascinating to me, but it was very difficult for me at that time to find some decent information on the subject, right? And eventually I discovered the work of Montauk Chia. You know, I read Multi-Orgasmic Man, Tao Secrets of Love. It was kind of the missing picture for me of, okay, here's how I can use my sexual energy and integrate that with all of the other practices I'm doing. So the path of sexual Kung Fu, which is, you know, Taoist sexual cultivation, it's not about suppressing your sexual energy. Again, a lot of guys doing no fap and things like this, they're like, like, nope, I'm never touching my penis. I'm gonna do my best not to have any sexual thoughts. I'm just gonna like, you know, take this body part and hide it somewhere, right? But what's that going to do for your health? The genitals are your core endocrine glands of your body. And it really is a use it or lose it situation. If you don't activate this area of your body, it's going to dry up and all the other glands will start to dry up as well. So you'll start to feel low energy, you'll start to feel angry and frustrated, and you'll lose that lust for life basically, right? Which is really one of the gifts sexual energy can bring us is this creativity, this spontaneity, this pleasure in simply being alive in a physical body. So the Taoist approach, again, it's really about not suppressing anything, not forcing anything, but it's like, okay, here's this force of nature, our sexual drive, our sexual impulse. How do we work with that in a harmonious way? How do we maximize the energy gain from that and minimize any potential loss or depletion? Because of course for men, ejaculating frequently depletes you. You lose your life force, it lowers your testosterone. You know, If you're watching this, you probably know that uh, excessive ejaculation is harmful for men. But here's where people kind of get stuck, especially in NoFap, is that they equate masturbation and sexual pleasure to ejaculatory orgasm, when in fact these are two completely different things. You can learn to have orgasms without ejaculating. Therefore, you don't experience any of the energy loss brought by ejaculation, but you experience all of the benefits in sexual experience. Sexuality and orgasm is very, very important for us. When you think about it, our bodies are made up of trillions of cells. And what are these cells doing? They're constantly reproducing, cellular reproduction, 24 seven. Our cells are having sex and they're sexually reproducing us, literally. Our body is a sexual process. So when you engage in sexuality in a conscious and harmonious way, you get into resonance with this pattern that's happening within your body. It actually harmonizes the abilities of your cells to reproduce themselves properly, right? It keeps you young and youthful when you're able to have orgasmic experience regularly. It also harmonizes your DNA and the function 
function of your DNA. It can help you activate your dormant DNA, this junk DNA they call it, which is really just higher psychic abilities that not all of us have unlocked yet, right? So it really comes down to being able to rewire your experience of sex from this lust-driven, you know, porn-conditioned, approach to just blindly overstimulate yourself into a quick ejaculatory orgasm. That's a depleting habit. That is not healthy. But not all sexual experiences are like that. You can learn to pleasure yourself in a way that actually benefits you, right? When you're sexually aroused, especially when you're being sexually stimulated, whether by a partner or by yourself, the body starts to release hormones. Your testosterone levels are boosted when you're having sex or when you're sexually aroused or you're experiencing sexual pleasure. But the problem is that when you ejaculate, you lose that charge of sexual energy that made you feel so juicy and alive and energized, right? You lose that charge. You literally shoot it out of your body and the body releases prolactin into the bloodstream, which inhibits your testosterone level. You lose all these minerals, all this life force. So by not ejaculating, but experiencing sexual pleasure, sexual stimulation, you get this activation of your sexual energy and you can actually hold that powerful charge that you generate, whether that's with a partner or self-stimulation. And this has very powerful benefits for your health, your vitality, and your energy levels. When you think about it, aroused sexual energy is incredibly expansive. It literally alters your consciousness, you know? When you're really aroused, when you're horny, you're a different person. You think differently, you see things differently, your body changes, things become, you know, engorged, your breath deepens. It literally raises your vibration and opens you up. But what you're focused on at that point is very important. When you're watching porn and you're kind of in these low frequency expressions of sex, then you're lowering your vibration and you're really bonding yourself to those patterns. But when you're using sexual cultivation as a form of yoga, a form of energetic development, and you consciously take that arousal energy you've built up and move it upward into the body, you know, bring it into the organs, you can bring it into the glands, into the brain. Again, you hold that sexual charge and you supercharge your body's function with this incredible, expansive, creative, sexual energy, this aroused sexual energy is incredibly powerful to work with, right? This is how you can use masturbation as a way to boost your hormones, boost your vitality and your overall energy levels. But of course, the key is that you must not ejaculate, at least not frequently. And the other benefits is that you can use this self-stimulation practice to, again, rewire your experience of sexuality, no longer being goal-driven into this short-lived ejaculatory orgasm which drains you, but instead learning to expand your experience of sexual energy to a full body experience learning to take that arousal, move it to other areas of the body to get the whole body involved and start to separate orgasm from ejaculation. And this is how you learn to last for hours in bed with a partner, basically. First, you have to be able to do it by yourself, right? Because there's a lot more excitement and stimulation with a partner. It's difficult in the beginning in that situation. So learning by yourself frees you up to explore and experience a new dimension of sexuality that, you know, honestly, very, very few people on this planet have ever experienced. And it's thousands of times more powerful than, you know, your average thrusting into your partner blindly until you shoot all over the place and you fall asleep, right? It's quite a different experience because you build up this powerful sexual charge, but you don't lose it. You move it into your body, amplifying your body's function, supercharging your aura with this magnetic sexual energy. After that, you're like levitating with energy and people pick up on it. They're like, what is this guy doing? He's just like glowing, right? So this is the power of sexual Kung Fu and working with your sexual energy. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay, how do I get into this other experience because I'm really stuck in my old habits? If you want a shortcut, take my six week course, Multi-Orgasmic Man, because it's really important to do, first of all, foundational practices to clear your old traumas, clear this conditioning you have and these certain energetic patterns that are held in place in your body, keeping you to run in circles and keep repeating these old habits, right? So that foundational work is very important. And I teach that in my course, as well as the sexual methods to move sexual energy through the body, experience full body orgasms. But I'll give you guys some tips that you can use right away to uh, start to enhance this experience, right? So first of all, obviously the goal cannot be to ejaculate, right? You should no longer approach sex or self-stimulation as a way to release stress, you know, kind of this to get this drug-like fix that's very short-lived, right? The goal should instead be to explore new dimensions of sexual experience with yourself and to build a sexual charge and hold that charge in your body, increasing your desire, increasing your hormone levels and your energy, right? So instead of just, you know, blindly stimulating yourself, obviously don't look at porn. You wanna focus on your body and just stimulate yourself very slowly and mindfully. Focus on deep belly breathing. 
making some sound, you know, exhale a sigh or a moan that will help to move the energy through your body and focus on the other areas of your body as well. You know, can you take that arousal that's building up in your genitals? Can you move it upwards? Can you move it into your belly? Can you move it into your heart center? Can you move it into your brain and expand your consciousness? So play with that, right? And instead of just rushing right into that point of no return at which you would ejaculate, take it much more slowly and avoid going over the edge, right? Try to stay around 80% of the way to the point of no return, the point at which you would ejaculate. Try to hover in the slightly lower levels of arousal and sustain those. And when you do that for a prolonged period of time, you know, 20, 30 minutes or more, you get into these incredible heightened states of full body pleasure, expansion, and just this, you know, incredible orgasmic pulsations. So how do you bring this to a close instead of ejaculating? Do deep breathing, breathing deeply into your belly, relaxing your whole body and just breathe. Feel like you're breathing through your body. Feel like you're breathing this sexual energy up, using your awareness to bring it throughout the body. And then the arousal built up in your genitals will start to subside and it'll move to the rest of your body. And now you've completed your session by charging your body with sexual energy instead of shooting energy out of your body. And that makes a huge difference, right? This is how you gain energy from self-stimulation or sex instead of losing it by this ejaculatory orgasm. And this is really the path of sexual Kung Fu is using that sexual energy as a tool to fuel your mission in life, your purpose, your spiritual path, your business, your career, your artistic pursuits, whatever it is, using that sexual energy and engaging in your sexuality in a harmonious and conscious way, it is completely transformative. And it's a completely different experience than just, you know, blindly stimulating yourself to a short-lived ejaculation. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this is giving you a new perspective on the potential of sexual cultivation, cultivating your powerful sexual energy, which is your human right. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. How do you use your sexual energy to boost all aspects of your life? Have a great day, my friends. Thank you.